So there's an unknown method that you could be using right now to 2x the speed at which you achieve your goals. You're literally the first person I'm telling about this because I wanted to make sure that it actually worked and that I was able to get some results before sharing it with you. So if you don't want to be wasting years working on your goals, if you want to actually speed up your progress, you want to implement this today. Like literally when you're done watching this video, you want to start implementing this. You've probably seen some of the exponential growth I've had on my YouTube channel recently, and I attribute a lot of that success to the system I'm about to share with you. So this method is called the wave method. And essentially there's four key components to making, to making it work. Wave is just simply an acronym and it stands for write, affirm, visualize, and execute. Okay. So those are the four key components of this system. So let's start with the first component of the system, which is going to be to write your goals down every single day. There was literally a study done that showed you're 42% more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down every single day. It was a study done by Dr. Gail Matthews, I believe you can look it up online. You want to start writing your goals down every day, but you want to do it in the right way. So many people write their goals down in the wrong way that actually makes it so that it takes them years and years longer than it needs to to achieve what they want. So I'm going to show you the proper method of doing this. Let's jump into it. Basically, what you want to do is you always, when you write your goal down, you want to include a date and you want to write the goal in the present tense as if you've already achieved the goal. That's super important. Do not skip this. Do not forget this. If you do not write it down as if you've already achieved it and have a date, it's going to be, it's just not going to work. So let's just say, for example, our goal is to lift 185 pounds on bench press, right? That's an easy thing for us to use as an example. So the least effective way to write this down would be, I want to lift 185 pounds on bench press. The reason why it's not effective is because you're not putting a date down. So you have no definite time by which you want to have it achieved. And you're not saying it in the present as if you already achieved it, which is it's not it doesn't work as well because you're not conditioning your mind and your subconscious that you've already done the thing right and that you already have the thing. So a better way of writing it would be on July 31st, I want to lift 185 pounds on bench press. And it's a little bit better because you have a specific date but you're still lacking that present tense. So the best way you can write down a goal is it is July 31st and I'm lifting 185 pounds on bench press. So you're including a date and you're writing, right? Like I am doing the thing or I can do the thing or I have the thing. So I'm lifting 185 pounds on bench press. That's a lot better because we have a date and we are training our subconscious mind that we have already achieved this thing. And so when you have a date and, and you have it in the present tense, your mind is is kind of working towards achieving it. Even if you're not doing things, your subconscious mind is going to be working on achieving it. So let's just go to another example. Um, let's say you had a goal to own a house on the beach. That's our goal. Okay. So the problem with this is we need to include a date and we need it to be in the present tense. Again, least effective way. I want to own a house on the beach. Okay. Not very effective. We don't know when it's not in the present tense better on March 27th. I want to own a house on the beach. So now we have a specific date. That's good. But again, we don't have the present tense. Best way you can do it. It is March 27th and I own a house on the beach. So it is March 27th. It's the date which we set and we're acting as if we're already there, right? We've teleported into the future. It is March 27th and I own a house on the beach. So I already own the thing. Like I presently currently own the house. So that's going to be the best way you can write your goals down because like I said before, it just trains your mind and it gives your mind a specific date to work towards. Most people do not do this. They'll write down like they'll write down stuff like this. You know, I want to own a house on the beach or if they might even just write down the goal, like own a house on the beach. Okay. And that's not effective because again, no date, no present tense, not anywhere near as effective. So make sure you don't make that mistake. So with that being said, let's move on to the affirmations part of the wave formula. Okay. So with affirmations, the thing you're basically doing is speaking your goal into existence. Now, regardless of what you believe, I personally think that when you speak something, right, it has power to it. And when you're speaking your goal out into the universe, you're essentially you know, putting that out into reality, putting it out into the universe. And I think that it just makes a big difference. Uh, I think that you're more likely to achieve it if you can speak the thing that you want. And so I think that also reality, as you go about it, as you're taking actions, and as you're speaking this out will actually present you with opportunities by which you can achieve your goal. Okay. And again, it's just another way to train your mind. So 
when it comes to affirmations, what's important is we're basically doing the same thing with the goal, right? We've got a date and we've got the goal written in present tense. The only different thing that we're doing when we speak it, instead of speaking, you know, down here, instead of speaking this out, it is July 31st and I'm lifting 185 pounds on bench press. That's good. That's not bad. That's not a bad affirmation, but you can make it a lot better and more effective if you add in two other components, which would be a new identity, right? And a positive emotion attached to the goal. So let's just say we have a goal that we wrote down today and we wrote it down in our journal or in our notebook and we wrote down, it is July 31st and I'm lifting 185 pounds on bench press. Now that's an effectively written goal because it's got a date and it has the goal written in present tense. Now, when we speak that out, we want to add two more components, which is an identity. So you could say, I am a weightlifter, right? Or I am a bodybuilder. Uh, and then you want to add a emotion, a positive emotion that you feel is attached to the goal. So for this example, the way you'd want to affirm a goal like this, okay, the way you'd want to have this affirmation would be, I am a weightlifter. It is July 31st, and I'm proud to be lifting 185 pounds on bench press. And the reason it's so effective is because you're forming a future identity for yourself as a weightlifter, okay? And the other thing you're doing is you're adding an emotion that you feel that is attached to the goal. And so when you add your emotion into it and you're forming a new identity, it just makes it so much more effective. And so this doesn't have to be, you know, you can use any identity you feel is, you know, associated with the goal you're trying to achieve. You know, maybe you're trying to start a business. So you could say I'm an entrepreneur or you're trying to, you know, level up to become a CEO or, you know, you're trying to become an athlete. So you could say I'm an athlete, right? The point is you want to follow this formula and you want to plug in your goal to this formula. So it's an identity. It's a new identity. You're adding a date, positive emotion, and writing the goal in present tense. So you take whatever your goal is that you wrote down. So, you know, the goal that has a date and is written in present tense. And then you're just adding two things to it when you speak it out. And that is a positive emotion. So you could say, I'm happy, I'm grateful, I'm proud, whatever. And an identity that you associate with the goal. Okay. So one more example of this would be using our, uh, would be using our wanting to own a house goal, right? So we wrote the goal down properly. It is March 27th and I own a house on the beach, all right? Now, the way to affirm this, the way to speak this into existence, so to speak, would be adding an identity. So I am a homeowner. I own a home, okay? I'm a homeowner. And then you add the date. It is March 27th. And then you're adding a positive emotion that you feel. So I would feel pretty grateful to own a house on the beach. I would be very grateful. So I am grateful and then, you know, in present tense to own a house on the beach. So again, I am a homeowner. It is March 27th and I'm grateful to own a house on the beach. So you're taking this goal that you wrote down and you're simply just adding in the new identity and the positive emotion that you feel. Okay. And then you're just speaking this whole sentence right here. You're speaking that out loud. Now it might be a little bit embarrassing when you're doing affirmations, if there's other people around and stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, like no one's really going to be it's not that weird, right? Like, I mean, people might look at you like you're kind of crazy, but at the end of the day, who cares? If, if this makes it more likely for you to get what you want in life, are you really going to be not doing it just because you're worried that other people might hear you? Or maybe you're just, maybe it just feels weird when you're doing it, but the more you do it, the more you get used to it. And I just do this with all my goals. So every day I go through this process of saying my affirmations. And again, I really do believe that this makes a big difference. So don't be embarrassed to you know, be speaking what you want and actually speaking out into the universe. You know, if you're actually too embarrassed to speak out what you want and affirm what you want out loud, you're probably not ready for it. So that's another thing is that if you're so embarrassed and so worried about what other people think that you can't even say your affirmations without like being embarrassed what other people think or if other people might overhear you, or it's just something you just feel is just weird, you might not be ready to take on the responsibility of the things that you want. So just don't be worried about it. Just be confident about what you want and speak it into existence. Okay, so for the next component of the wave method, we're going to be talking about visualization. Really what visualization is, is just using your imagination, right? So we're using our imagination in a way where we can kind of imagine what it's going to be like when we achieve the goal, right? When we actually are in the place that we wanted to be or have the thing that we wanted to have, we're kind of imagining how that would feel and what that's like when you're in that moment. So for me, what I do with visualizations is I basically have a vision board or you could just print out like pictures of 
the goals that you're trying to complete, right? You don't need to have a vision board. That's just what I have. But, or you can just print out pictures, okay? And put them up on your wall. Basically, you just wanna have a visual representation of the thing you're trying to achieve. And so you can do that, put it up on your wall, put it up on your vision board. That's what I do. And really you just, for me, what I do is I just sit there and then in my mind, I just visualize with my eyes closed. I imagine what it's going to be like when I achieve that goal. And so I just sit there, I just sit down, just take, I don't know, a couple minutes. It doesn't take that long, right? And just go over each one of the goals you have printed out and up on your wall and just visualize what it's going to be like, how it's going to feel, you know, what, what is going on that day when, when you're experiencing this thing. And so I'll actually show you an example real quick of what, what I mean by this. All right. So this was one of the, this was one of the papers that I printed out that I had up on my, on my vision board. Right. And this was for the, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. This was for the, this was for the 1000 subscribers goal that I had on YouTube. And I just printed out this piece of paper. I put it up on my vision board and that's what I would look at every day. And I would just kind of imagine what it's going to be like when I'm there, how was the experience, all that kind of stuff. Okay. And so that's another really important part of it is visualizing it in your mind because your imagination, it can be so vivid with these things that it can really give you, uh, the emotions, the excitement to take action and go after it. So the last step is going to be to execute. And with execution, essentially, that just means take action. With all these things, it's it's nice to learn all these methods and all these different things that you can do. But if you don't take action, it's basically for nothing. So don't forget to actually execute on all these things. And a lot of people will go through this process. And maybe afterwards, they're like, all right, that's great. Now I'm going to go do something else. For me, what I like to do is after I'm done writing my goals down, I'm done affirming, you know, doing my affirmations and I'm done visualizing what it's going to be like when I get there. I like to take action, right? I like to execute. So do whatever tasks you need to do in order to achieve your goals, whatever your highest leverage tasks are, you can do those right afterwards because you kind of built up this mental state and emotional state to actually push forward, right? And really it's not this whole process, this whole method, this whole wave method is not something that is like magical or like out there, you know what I mean? It's pretty basic. It's pretty simple, right? You're just priming your mind to actually go after what you want. You know, you're conditioning your mind every single day that this is what I'm going on. You're providing a sense of clarity to yourself in terms of what your direction is every single day. So if every day you're providing yourself clarity on the direction you're supposed to be heading, right? This is what I'm supposed to do every day you're going to take some action on it. And so if every day you're working on something, obviously you're going to get results a lot faster than if you were just, you know, not doing it. Cause I've, before I started using this method, I would have goals, but you know, maybe half the week I forget about what I'm even working on. So I get distracted by other tasks that don't matter. So this really helps every single day. And that's the other point I didn't mention. This is needs to be done every single day. For me, I like to do it in the morning. Um, before I start working on things on projects, you can do it whenever you feel is best, but I like to do it right in the morning because it kind of sets me up for the day and where I'm headed. So it gives you a sense of clarity and you're doing this every single day and it will push you a lot forward for me using this method. Before I used this method, I was kind of chaotic. I couldn't really stay on track. And so for me, this is always helpful to provide a sense of clarity in the direction that I'm heading. And it has actually helped me 2x the speed at which I've achieved some of my goals. Without this method, I don't think I would have gotten there anywhere near as fast. So hopefully this is helpful to you. You know, this I just would want this to be out there for my younger self to be able to see, you know, because it took me a while to kind of learn all these bits and pieces and then put it together in something that is actually usable, right? So this is a method I came up with that will hopefully help you in achieving your goals and maybe you know, you'll find that you get there twice as fast or three times as fast or four times as fast as you would have otherwise. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.